गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट रैंडम एम्पलीफाइड पॉलीमॉर्फिक डीएनए और आरएपीडी एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो आरएपीडी इज बेस्ड ऑन पीसीआर एसए एंड इट डजंट नीड एनी प्रायर सीक्वेंसिंग ऑफ डीएनए सो वी नो दैट PCR needs primers and primers are complementary to the nucleotide sequence of DNA hence in order to synthetically generate primers we need the prior knowledge of DNA sequence but in case of RAPD we don't need that using this technique random sequences of DNA are amplified by PCR using short synthetic primers like 10 base pair so basically in RAPD primers are non specific they randomly annul to the DNA sequence and start amplifying these primers are very short like 10 base pair these primers are able to amplify fragments from 1 to 10 genomic sites simultaneously uh since these are non specific primers and annul randomly they are capable of annulling to the multiple sites of dna simultaneously it can vary from 1 to 10 sites at a time amplified fragments are within the 0.5 to 5 kb size range the fragments obtained from rapd can be viewed by using agarose gel electrophoresis so that is the fate of any pcr product right we can see them using agarose gel electrophoresis if any mutation occurs in the primer binding region then no pcr product will be produced yielding a distinct pattern of amplified dna segments on the gel so we will see this uh, figure to understand this suppose this is the dna isolated from person a and this is the dna isolated from person b now we add same primers in both the samples and run pcr so this sample yields three pcr products now these two these two primers amplify this region so this is the result now these two primers amplify this region so this is the result and these two primers this one and this one amplify the whole region and this is the result right although we have used same primer but sample b yields only one pcr product uh so these two primers amplify this region only why is it so that means these two dna samples are not exactly same and yeah this is most obvious since these two samples are isolated from two different individuals generally many point mutations occur which distinguish individuals from one another this is called polymorphism right and this is the result of gel electrophoresis okay so we will see some advantages of rapd this technique is very quick and easy because pcr is involved only low quantities of template dna are required because actually pcr requires very few amount of dna since random primers are required no sequence data for primer construction are needed 
RDPDs have a very high genomic abundance and are randomly distributed throughout the genome. Actually, these short primers are able to randomly amplify many sites of DNA. So, it is advantageous. Now, we will see some disadvantages of this technique. Low reproducibility which yields faint bands. Since non-specific primers are used, the amount of PCR products are not as much as normal PCR generates. Hence, it yields faint bands sometimes. RAPD requires purified DNA and needs to avoid contamination of DNA samples because short random primers are able to amplify DNA fragments in a variety of organisms. It is most problematic situation in RAPD. This technique requires highly purified DNA. Since primers are non-specific, they can bind to the DNA samples from other organisms too. Suppose your DNA is contaminated by bacteria, then primers will bind to the bacterial DNA too. It will mislead you since you will get a mixture of amplified products from both the organisms. RAPD markers are not loca specific. Yeah, since we are using non-specific primers, you cannot amplify a particular gene or a particular locus. Amplification is totally random. Similar sized fragments may not be homologous. Hence, problems occur in band scoring. Yeah, so if you see this gel, you can find similar sized bands from both the samples, right? This band and this band look similar. But these two are not homologous regions of DNA. This band represents this part and this band represents this part. And these two are not same. Hence, similar size doesn't indicate similar region. Okay. Now, let's uh, talk about some applications of this technique. Distinct pattern of amplification is seen in different samples. This is why RAPD can be used for studying polymorphism. RAPD is applicable for the mapping of genome. So, this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please find the first pinned comment or the description box. Thank you.